Coach, one of the things that, you know, really exploded, in, even in national news back then, was this situation where you were breaking away for a fast break layup and you were undercut by Rudy Distrito. You flipped over. It was one of the most, you know, brutal actions I've ever seen, actually, in, in the PBA. What was running through your mind in that situation when you felt your legs were taken under you? Imagine if, if, if this is somehow possible. You laying, laying in the air, maybe about five feet up, and then someone just dropping you. And, you know, with the speed that we were going, you know, it was a fast break. When I hit the floor, and then my head hit the floor also, it was really just... Okay, how am I? Split second thought was, is my career done? This is only second year. This is only my second year <laughs> in the PBA. Um, can I feel my legs? Those are kind of like the quick questions you ask yourself, but I'm glad I survived it. Did you hold a grudge towards Rudy Distrito? At first, honestly, yes. Only because I didn't get a single apology or at least reach out through a friend or maybe a common friend on the team. Uh, absolutely nothing. So, but again, when he was kicked out of the league because of that, and he wasn't able gonna, he wasn't gonna be able to play anymore. That's when I kind of let go and didn't worry about it anymore. Um, I think that's more painful.